my goodness, I don't think I could be any more excited than bringing a show to you live from Beaver Creek this morning. Good morning to the Valley. We are about to get things started on Vale Daily Live. We have an incredible program for you. Best part of it, we get to finally talk about snow. Winter has returned. I'm in Beaver Creek. Trisha is down in Eagle Vale, and you're going to want to stay with us. I'll get closer to the mountain coming up in the next couple minutes because they got the snow guns firing too. It is a cold one this morning. We're going to tell you all that and more as Vale Daily Live starts right now. Hi, I'm Trisha Swenson. I'm Brazo. I'm Ashley. I'm Ken Hovey. I'm Meredith Kirkman. I'm Ty Diaz. I'm Charlie Kennedy. We are VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL. Vale Daily Live. We are VDL. VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL. I'm Trisha Swenson here in our studio is in Eagle Vale at the Vale Daily Office. As you can see, Ken Hovey was standing by outside. He is at the base of Beaver Creek today. We did have some snowfall overnight. We've been anxiously awaiting for this, and we're going to tell you about that during today's show. We'll give you the snow reports, weather reports, road reports as well. And we'll talk a little bit of some fashion on the slopes. Uh, Charlie had a chance to speak with Skia founder Diane Boyd. We'll also look at a way to get a better night's sleep. Did you know that you could adjust the altitude in your homes? It's really cool technology from altitude control technology. And then we'll check in with Beaver Creek and Rachel Levitsky. We are uh, anxiously awaiting the new opening of uh, Beginner and Intermediate Terrain at McCoy Park. And we'll give you headlines and uh, details on a lot of other things going on for today, which is Tuesday, December 7th. It is is National Remembrance Day for Pearl Harbor 1941. Can you believe that? Uh, on that on this day in 1941, um, and we had 2,403 service members, uh, civilians killed during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. So uh, a big day of remembrance for them. It's also Colorado Gives Day. So last Tuesday, we were at the big rally down in Eagle Ranch, or at uh, Fort Eagle Ranch. Um, we had about 50 different nonprofits, many of them pictured here, uh, that were all coming together to remind people to give where you live. So if you give today, the dollars go further. We have some really cool uh, funds. It's enhanced matching. It's not dollar to dollar matching, but the funds are enhanced uh, via matching today. So you can think of your favorite nonprofit. If you have a problem finding which one you resonate with, grab one of these. This is brand new, hot off the presses. The Vale Daily put this together and uh, this will be on news racks. And you can learn more about all sorts of different nonprofits that we have and we hold near and dear in the Vale Valley. And if you give where you live, it really is the best way to give because you're giving back to your own community. So Colorado Gives Day happening all day long till 12 midnight tonight. So we're looking forward to that. But uh, let's get to the weather real quick before we check in with Ken Halvey. And um, our weather, we're going to see four inches new in Vail. We're excited about that. So uh, 25 degrees right now, not too cold. And then our high today will be in the upper 30s. Quite a change from what we saw this weekend with highs in the 50s and then 18 uh, overnight. Here we're looking at I-70. The roads aren't too bad right now. You can see a little fog there as well. And then for the next couple of days, here's what we can expect. So this was a, kind of a weak storm that came through. So mostly cloudy for your Tuesday. We'll have about a 35% chance for showers, foggy in the evening and overnight. And then for Thursday, um, maybe we'll see a little bit of snow coming in the morning and overnight. That's our biggest chance of snow, 78% as we head towards the weekend. And then by Saturday, clear throughout the day. So that's a look at the forecast right now. So a little bit of new snow on top, but according to what I'm seeing, um, we're still seen about the same amount of terrain that's been open at Vail. We've got six lifts for you. And this includes uh, the Little Eagle lift, which is a beginner lift in the magic carpet over there. And then we've got Gandhi one, chair four out of the Vail village area and Gondola number 19 
out of Lion's Side that takes you up to that beginner area. And then between the two villages, we have Avanti Express, chair number two. That doesn't really have a lot of skiing around that chair, but we have the skiing that will get you over to Midvale, the Midvale Express, as well as Meadows. And then Beaver Creek, same situation. They just opened uh, last Monday, so just barely a week of being open. So Centennial is open for you, Hay Meadow Express. And they're making snow as fast as they possibly can, especially with these cooler temperatures overnight. So as long as they can make snow, uh, they're going to be cranking it out as much as they can. But uh, let's take it back outside to Ken Halvey and, and get a vibe for what he's seen today. Ken, how are you? I'm liking the scarf today, my man. <laughs> Th thank you, Trisha. Trisha, this is not for style. This is actually my wife's scarf, <laughs> but it was cold this morning. And that's the first sign of being over 50. You know, you're just cold all the time. So <laughs> scarf is in order. And I'm sure as the bus unloads, we'll have a few people making fun of me. Before they get here, though, Trisha, celebrity sighting this morning. <laughs> celebrity. Okay. Oh, my there. goodness. I want its autograph. Oh, where's the paparazzi? Yes. The, the flash bulbs might, might melt that, so don't let them get too you know, close. Ooh, put some like on it. the tree. Okay. There yeah. What's the, what's the consistency of the snow? What's the consistency? Uh, it's good. I, I saw the report just like you did. Two inches here, four inches at Vale, hit or miss. Um, I actually saw your husband this morning, which, by the way, <laughs> Mr. Mike. He said it was the first time that he's gotten up before you this season. He yes. was hiking up the mountain uh, with one of the higher-ups at Vale. So it was really good to see him in the parking lot. And I felt very, very inferior in front of them, dressed like this, while they, like, <laughs> had their headlamps on. I mean, they literally had started just before 5 a.m. to... Uh, skid up the mountain. So that's a good husband you have there. Yeah, Trisha yep, Swenson. yep, yep. He's been chomping at the um, bit to find uh, places yeah, to go. Yeah, he was up there. Yes. Um, yeah. the, uh, Look at all these people. Employees, that are, uh, employees coming in for the morning. Yeah. Each and every bus every morning gets just a little bit busier, but a lot of these are the employees that are going up. We've seen some of the uh, younger ski racers that are uh, headed up first thing this morning. Um, if, you know, This is the hour that things really start to pick up. And although you can't really see the snow where I'm standing here because of the heated sidewalks and also behind me, that's not an area that they've been blowing snow on. Up on Centennial and on the front side of the mountain, there is plenty of snow and they're trying to increase that, as you mentioned, by keeping the snow guns firing. That's why I'm not there right now is because it's really loud first thing this morning. Um, oh, yeah. You know what happens anytime though, Tricia, that you have a celebrity? You, you have paparazzi. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. It follows them everywhere. Ooh. This is one of my favorite things. And by the way, don't throw snowballs at people because it's assault, I think, in Colorado. But I don't know. We'll just crank one off. It's a horrible throw, but. There you go. It's good to there have the go. snow back. I know. It makes me super so, happy. Hey, what's the consistency like? Is it, is it kind of a wet snow, or what do you think? Um, what do you see? Yeah, I mean, I think all snow is wet. It's actually pretty fluffy, I would say. Yeah. But again, I'm down here at the base. Uh, and right down here, it's about, you know, an inch or so. It's not until you really start to get up to the top that you'll see more of it. But it's good quality snow. Yeah. Um, the one thing that it did, Trisha, to anyone that's tuned in and they're about to run out the door, driving conditions absolutely <laughs> suck this morning. Okay? Yeah. It's fine from gypsum to Walcott, and we'll talk about this. But once you come around the bend into Edwards especially, and then through Avon, it is very slippery. So you're going to want to leave early. Space, not speed. Trisha, it is almost like... A quick moving snowstorm came through Hawaii because yeah. of the temperatures that we've had lately. It's been balmy around here and boom, winter has arrived. You know so um, and, and Hawaii did have like a winter storm warning this past weekend. I had some friends that were there and they're like, um, we could get, we have a better chance of getting snow than Colorado had. So uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to see in some of these states. Hey, Ken, um, I saw some people with their skis and, and they had the racer skis and you mentioned the racers going up there and this is a lot of the you know the the ski club veil and and that sort of thing and what's really cool is that after the birds of prey world cup athletes leave then ski clubs get a chance to ski on this I and mean, this yes. is a very challenging hill it's it's one of the oh, toughest yeah. ones on the circuit so it's really cool that they get to, to go up there that's one of the reasons why river radimus was so excited to come back here he not only you know was a, a spectator when he was in elementary school but then had been a slipper and a course worker with the the ski club and then got to do some training on there so it's really a neat Appreciate opportunity 
Trisha, have you ever gone up on the Birds of Prey course right after or right before no, they open it no, up? No, no, no. I will wait it's, like two months. <laughs> it's, it's an it ice rink. Yeah, that's a good call. It's insane. It is, it is the most insane thing. It is like a skating rink. It's no joke. One time I got to go up there as a snowboarder to cover Nyman and I slid. They were on their radios like some snowboarder. Da, da, da. They were making fun of me. Like, what is he doing here? And they go, oh, it's Nyman's buddy. He's trying to get some photos. Um, it's it's bizarre. I don't even know how they are able to do that. And I would compare it to everyone seems to know about big wave surfing these days. And uh, there's a big con uh, a contest called Mavericks, right, where when the big waves come in, only the best surfers go out there. It's almost like we just had the Mavericks competition yes. and the professional big wave surfers have gone and like the Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts of and the Eagle Scouts, I'll call them that. I'm not trying to undermine. I'm saying like the young bucks are going up in the same conditions. I mean, yeah. Good it's job, crazy. kids. You're yeah. brave. Yeah. I know, definitely. That's yeah, nuts. so we, we still might see some of that race in action. And a lot of people wonder, hey, is Cinch Express open? No, it's not. It's just open for these crews and these ski club members that are going up from different clubs. So uh, we did not open Cinch Express lift number nine. Uh, it's just open to get them up right. to the Birds of Prey, just to let people know. Trisha, you know what else I was excited? I, I watch you in the morning, too. And I tune in because I know I get all the good information. You are a great reminder that today is Colorado Gives Day. Yes. Yeah, it's a big day. It is a big day. It's the opportunity for all of us, out, even outside of Colorado, to give to a charity that does good for the community. And I have my favorite, Tricia. I'm going to make my donation. Okay, which one? Roundup, Roundup, Roundup River Ranch. That's oh, the one that yeah. I go with. That's a good uh, one. Up on the Colorado River Road. Yeah, yeah. amazing Explain place. to people what that is. That's a Paul Newman uh, hole in the, the wall camp. Colorado River Ranch. Um, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a camp that gives uh, the opportunity for young adults primarily that are suffering from physical ailments, uh, sicknesses, a lot of um, things that are tough to deal with, okay? Let's just put it that way. And they bring them out to the camp free of charge. They have doctors there. The, the camp itself is super cool. It's got a caboose when you pull in. Um, and they just, they, they bring people out that need some love and they need some time outdoors. And they do that with them. And for me, I know the value of being outdoors and that's just a good one to me but there's a lot of great ones animal yeah. shelter um uh you know uh vale valley foundation would be another fantastic one so there's a lot of uh good things to yeah. do today so let's put it in our heart early even if it's five bucks right even if you're yeah. like ken i'm not five bucks because the right? five a bucks dollar. is going to be matched you know not not dollar to dollar but the five bucks the the giving will be enhanced by some matching funds today so yeah we're trisha we're can you can that. you give me some advice this morning yes, can, yes. i need help Okay. So like, let's work. I, this is the traditional scarf method and, and people can come in. Good morning, sir. People can come in and they can give their opinions on it, right? This is like the normal, you know, yeah, Christmas yeah. story. Mm -hmm. You'll shoot your yeah. eye out. Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? A little touch of jihad. Now, I've always heard that there's this one. I, and I, I think, I hate to say it, I think I learned it on Friends. There's this one. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yep. There, I feel there, like a total dork with with this oh. one <laughs> that looks kind of like think? the snowman you know like kind of you put it on the snowman i say you know yeah. whatever is going to keep you the warmest today i know it's a little chilly oh, yeah there. warm warm yeah. is the wrap and the other and then, thing we got to start being aware of trisha is hat nipple oh yeah so you, <laughs> you got to get you got to pull the hat nipple down yeah there you All go right. there you go we're gonna, hey, if it's winter, we're gonna we're gonna discuss important winter things. Yeah, yeah, and you know What's what? It, it's it's not good to wear um, a scarf like that while skiing. That's why they have the neck gaiter. Just because you know how that sign always says, "Check for loose clothing and equipment." And when you approach oh. the, the the upper terminal yeah. of your ski lift, um, you want to make sure. This, yeah. Yeah, you want to maybe have That's more than neck call. gator, balaclava, type of thing. But hey, walking around that, town. That's too. Yeah, back. Oh, watch yeah, I'm going to go for a cruise. I, yeah. yeah, I've got my backpack. Okay. I'm going to go cruise uh, mm -hmm. and go find some fun stuff and tell viewers why they should stay tuned this morning. One reason, Whitewater. Went kayaking the other day on the Colorado down in Shoshone. <laughs> <You did. laughs> so I've got, I do, Trish, I have about a minute of footage of that because we do have whitewater enthusiasts. And we also have a lot of whitewater enthusiasts that were frustrated this summer 
uh, because it was very difficult to get to that yeah. section of river. The section of river actually changed just a little bit. So I've got some insight. If you want to go down there and get your paddle on, we'll have that. And then uh, I think at 820 ish, I'm going to be meeting with a representative from Beaver Creek Resort Company to find oh, out yeah. what's going on, new terrain, well, and all that. So I think you were just talking fashion. Oh, by the way, hey, put your pull your scarf out from that one side. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, mm. Okay. Oh, oh thank yeah, you. That one, thank that you, one. But uh, speaking of Sam, fashion, Siempre Vive, they are going to be coming on with you. So I don't even know if you Ooh. know about that yet. That's, I do. I actually do. I got to okay. look at the rundown. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, okay. Hey, we'll let you look Good at the rundown. You. We'll take a break. We're going to come back with um, some more details on your headlines, Colorado Gives Day, the road report, and so much more. So stay with us. With the eyepieces of fail. View our curated collection of the best eyewear from around the world. Find your favorite brands and be introduced to new lines of eyeglasses, sunglasses, and goggles. See in style with prescription services done in-house at Eyepieces of Vail. Schedule time with one of our optometrists or get a comprehensive digital eye exam. Our on-site laboratory allows you to get your prescription done quickly so you can get back out there Eyepieces of Veil, the art of vision. Club One is a pivotal part of the Veil lifestyle, with spacious lockers to store all your gear in a ski-in, ski-out location. Club One is your mountain headquarters, stacked with club amenities and members-only perks. Club One, where the locals locker. We are back. I want to give you some details on what made headlines in today's Vail Daily. And we've been talking about it already. Eagle County Gives, Colorado Gives Day going on all day today. So please consider supporting our area nonprofits because your money will go further today. But here's what we're looking like for headlines today. We've got um, Governor Polis on the cover of today's paper. He was busy traveling through the high country to learn more about the new runway truck ramp that uh, was being created all summer long, and it's finally done. They did the ribbon cutting today. So you can see him on the cover. Um, he was on the cover there, just checking it out, checking out the work. And uh, on the headlines today, and then here it is. He attended the emergency truck ramp ribbon cutting. You can read more about that on page A3. Also in today's headlines, desperately seeking snow. We are looking for that snow. Lack of snow, warm temperatures, dry climate, enhanced fire danger. Over the weekend, could the snow in this week's forecast bring a reprieve for local resorts and fire danger? You can read more about that in today's paper. Also in today's news, we're talking about uh, sports. We've got a lot of things happening in sports, frequent flyers, uh, big event going on over in Copper. John LeConte had a chance to showcase some of our local high flyers, frequent flyers, Taylor Seaton, Jack Coyne. You can learn about them in today's paper. And then also, speaking of, um, oh, okay, I thought we were going to the Copper Mountain. All right. Okay, so what to know about uphill ski season? You can read all about that in today's paper. All those stories and more can be found for free in today's Vail Daily. Pick up your copy in newspaper dispensers from Eastville all the way down to Gypsum, or you can always just go online. So Vail Daily, bringing communities together for the last 40 years. Let's give you a look at your uh, road report now. We're seeing slick roads, basically, as you get to the higher elevations of Eagle County. Wasn't too bad in Eagle and Gypsum, according to Ken Holvey, who just drove in this morning. Meredith Kirkman, our producer behind the scenes today, she drove in from Vail, said it was uh, pretty slick out there, so allow a little extra time. We were out of the habit of having any snow in our area, so you want to make sure. You can see a plow right down there in the lower left-hand corner, plow drivers, working hard this morning to get things all ready to go. You can find out more by going to cotrip.org. And just to let you know, if you are going to be going to the Glenwood Canyon area, CDOT will oversee rockfall removal operations along I-70 in Glenwood Canyon today uh, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. The safety critical operation is required to remove rocks and other material from rock wall fencing above and next to I-70. So westbound traffic holds will last 20 to 30 minutes. Eastbound traffic holds will be intermittent as necessary. So if you are going through the Glenwood Canyon area today, 
just know that that's going to be happening between 10 and 3 p.m. today. And I got this information from sealtrip.org. Uh, once again, we got some new snow. We got two inches over at the Beeve, four over at Vail. So we're excited about that. But let's take it out to Ken Holby, who is standing by at Beaver Creek. Say something. You can say whatever you want. Hey, Good. Ken. <laughs> Ken. Hey. Yes. What's going on? Hi, Trisha. Hi. I, I got a quick moment before I run over and uh, talk some garments, but I did discover what is going on up here, and that is absolutely club races. <laughs> Excuse me. And I uh, had the opportunity to talk to some of the kids. They are from all over the place, and I would speculate there's probably about 250 young adults up here with the fastest skis lined up along the wall here that are going to go up. So if we have people that are watching from the hotels, and they're going, oh, the lifts are open. They don't open until 9 o'clock. And these are the ski racers that are just getting up and getting sent uh, on over to the Birds of Prey. But Trisha, real quick, before I take off, look who I have. Hey, Trisha, it's Fred. Fred. Oh, first chair Fred. What's going first on? I'd recognize that Trisha, jacket anywhere. Forgive, forgive us, Trisha, with the snow guns. Uh, it's a little bit loud. You can step on in. Um, it's a little bit loud, uh, so we can't quite hear you. But I, nobody's beating him, I bet. How many days do you have? Uh, 33. 33 days. Been over to How many vertical feet? Oh, like a million and a half. Ah! <laughs> right? Wow. I don't think I get that in an entire season. Um, today, two inches of snow reported. What do, you, what do you think? Beautiful. Yeah, good? Beautiful. Good. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. We need it. How many laps do you actually do in a day? Uh, when I was in Keystone before Beaver Creek opened, I did like 33, 34 laps a day. Wow. <laughs> uh, opening day of Beaver Creek, I did 39 laps. Yeah. Wow. Look at Trisha's jaw. We That's crazy. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nobody knows better. And if you're wondering about the conditions, if you see him down here, talk to him. And who are you riding with today, by the way? Oh, this is my dear friend, Bill. Bill's up. See, Bill and I are like the two hecklers on the Muppet Show up in the balcony. <laughs> We're always here. <laughs> are the old guys? We're the old oh, guys. Oh, man, I'm turning. I mean, look at, look, how look I at this. Look, at, look, look, look at this scarf. Look how I dressed this morning. He could be a heckler in the balcony with us <laughs> with that scarf. <laughs> oh, <it's good. laughs> and I'm monitoring my hat. I keep having Woo. hat technique. Technology issues. Oh, bad, bad hat head. Anyway, good to see you. Uh, any advice to riders that are headed up today? Like, I don't even know where do you park. Oh, uh, oh you just park in the Elk Lodge with the bear lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I work in Beaver Creek Village, so I, I'm parking in the employee lot, and then I, and then I go to work. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Good yeah. to see you, Fred. Awesome. Million three. Trisha. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Way to go, Fred. 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 First chair, Fred. <laughs> Yeah. First year, uh, Trisha, I got to get moving though. I just wanted to show you the base area. Snow guns are firing. Centennial lift opens up at nine o'clock right now. Loading our ski racers that are going up. But it's a great day to be here. We have fresh snow. And then to my understanding, we're going to see the roads clear here uh, in the skies in a bit. So it's going to be a nice day to be on the mountain. We'll have more coming from Beaver Creek coming up shortly. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Ken, for that report. And uh, Meredith, are we going to take a break? Come back? All right, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Bright Future Foundation empowers families and individuals affected by domestic violence and sexual assault through prevention, crisis intervention, advocacy, and long-term healing services. Join us in making futures bright for survivors in our community. now than maybe before. The fresh air, good for your head, it's good for your heart, uh, it's good for you physically, and it'll make you smile. And go rip some pow. Let's go. I'll lead you follow. There's nowhere we can wander. I know you hear it call to Bright Future Foundation empowers families and individuals affected by domestic violence and sexual assault through prevention, crisis intervention, advocacy, and long-term healing services. Join us in making futures bright for survivors in our community.
This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Live Sotheby's International Realty, Colorado's leading real estate firm. Contact their Vail Valley broker professionals today to help you live the life you love. And we are back. I want to let you know what's happening with the weather today. Obviously, we've got a little bit of snow overnight. Uh, we'll tell you about that during our mountain report. We'll give you the details on what Vail and Beaver Creek received. Current weather right now, cloudy conditions. We're right around the mid-20s. Feels like 19 out there. And then today, we'll see a, a little bit of the clouds give way to some sunshine later on with your high coming in at 37. Overnight low, right around 18 degrees and mostly cloudy throughout the night. Winds not too bad. Bad. We could see them gusting to about nine miles per hour, which really isn't uh, much to speak of. And really, the chance of snow has kind of dissipated for the rest of the day. We'll just have that cloud cover until the sun makes its way in. The next couple of days look like this. We'll see your uh, temperatures for Wednesday right around the 40s. Foggy in the evening and overnight, about a 33% chance of any precipitation. And then for Thursday, maybe two to four inches of snow throughout the day and into the evening, about a 78% chance of showers for your Thursday. And then for Friday, cloudy once again, maybe some more snow in the morning and then giving way to some sunshine by the time we reach Saturday. And check out Saturday's daytime high, only 23 degrees. So feeling a little bit more like winter, especially when you look at that overnight low we could be going below zero, four below zero, um, Saturday into Sunday. But we'll take it. We'll take the cold weather. We'll take the clouds. We'll take the chance of snow because uh, we've had the sunshine for quite some time. But that's a quick look at your weather. Now I want to give you the details on what's happening on the mountain. So we did receive four inches of new snow over on Vail in the last 24 hours and two over at Beaver Creek. But the terrain situation hasn't changed. We still have the six lifts open at Vail Mountain and about 25 runs. A lot of those are catwalks or portions of runs. And this is scattered throughout Vail Village, Avanti number two, chairlift uh, number two, Avanti Express, and the gondola coming out of Lion's Head Village, the Little Eagle Lift for the beginners. If you're a beginner, that's what you're going to want to do. Go over to Lion's Head, take that gondola up, practice on the magic carpet as well as um, the, the chairlift number 15. Then at the end of the day, you're going to download at the end of the day. Over at Vail, over in Vail Village and Midvale, we have some more intermediate terrain open for you like Ramshorn, Powerline, uh, Slifer Express, Cappuccino, just to name a few. And then from there, you can ski all the way down to the bottom from Midvale down to Vail Village. So a couple different ways to navigate the mountain. And then at, over at Beaver Creek, we just opened last Monday. So just a little over a week had those big races in the middle of everything but they have Centennial Express as well as Hay Meadow and the beginner area in that region right out from the base so really easy to get to top to bottom and work on your skills in that area hopefully we can open up more terrain but we're just waiting for mother nature to cooperate and the snow making guns to just power up and make a bit more snow but that's a look at your weather report and your snow report today and the terrain report. But right now, what are you going to wear out on the hill? Well, your goggle of the day, we're going to go with the um, the M2. This is from Anon. Anon is a company, out of, uh, Burton's, Burton's the parent company of Anon. And this really cool magnet technology gives you the neck gaiter built in to the goggle. And I would go with the light goggle today. This does have a darker lens that comes with it, but you're going to want the help the lens will help you see through the flat light conditions. Conditions that you'll see on cloudy days. A lot of times it's good to ski kind of near the trees to get a little definition, but the goggles can help you as well. And what's really cool about this is you can take it off. You don't have to wear it on the warmer days like we've had lately. But um, really great technology here with the, the M2, the magnetic face mask, and then the Perceive lens technology helps increase the contract and definition and flat light conditions and color definitions. And there's an anti-fog coating on these lens as well. So there's a look at your lens of the day. You can pick these up at Eyepieces, The Art of Vision, six locations throughout the Vail Valley, and one over in Snowmass as well. So there's a look at your lens of the day, weather right now. Let's take, take it to Charlie Kennedy. She had a chance to check in with Diane Boyer, who is the head of SCAIA, a great women's clothing company. 
Hi, I'm Charlie Kennedy with Vale Daily Live and I'm so excited I'm here with Diane Boyer and she is from Skaya, which is a Vale based ski company. And Diane, tell us a bit about Skaya. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Charlie. Um, Skaya is a, a company that started in 1972. Wow. And I was a little girl, not that little, but little <laughs> enough, and started working with my parents. and. Um, we were based in the east, and, and we skied in Vermont at that point. And then we moved to Vail little by little during um, the next few years. And we are a ladies-specific ski company. Yes, that's so right. we make ladies or women's, women's and girls ski clothing. And we really feel, as women skiers and snowboarders, we know what works and how to look pretty but still stay warm and dry. and functional when you're skiing so it's super fun I love what I do it's we have a tagline follow your passion and skiing is one of my passions and being happy and cheerful when you're skiing I think is such an important thing I mean we should all yes. live life in that manner I mean you're just fabulous and the ski suit you're actually wearing right now tell us about this particular print because I mean it makes me feel happy looking at oh, it you're so sweet <laughs> this is our Aloha print and this jacket has touches of the Aloha print but there's it's all over my pants and it's a print done for us by a German artist Catherine Greisiker and oh, I actually have a video of her painting this watercolor painting oh my and it's goodness. super cool so it's just exclusive to Skea for this season. And then we have all sorts of colors that coordinate with it, whether it's a pink or a, a turquoise or a lilac. Oh. And so you could have a print pant and a solid jacket, or you could have a solid ja pant and a print jacket. Oh, it's really the fun. options. I mean, it's so stunning. It's beautiful. And you're right. It's fashionable and functional. Yes. Too. What's really fun is everything's waterproof, stretch, breathable. OK. Um, and uh, the pants have a stretch, uh, thin silate lining. And then the jacket, this jacket actually is a stretch and thin slate insulated jacket. Oh. Um, the jacket you're wearing, for example, is downfield. So okay. we do all different things. But what's nice about Skea is we say we don't dress hangers, we dress women. So we, we take great concern to the woman's figure and making sure wow. that it's nipped in in the right place and has room for her bosom and has room for her <laughs> derriere and, yes. and yet nice um, what we call thummy cuffs to love those to keep you warm I and love those about these jackets yes yeah. exactly and inside your gloves yeah. this one has an inner little fur collar that is super warm and cozy and it also protects the jacket from makeup okay. and it's washable and it's faux fur you really have thought through these designs yeah. I mean it's so relatable and they're so perfect so where can we find you guys located in in our local area in the Vale Valley, we're at Christie Sports, okay. we're at Peppy Sports, and we are at Beaver Creek Sports as well. Um, hopefully this year again we'll be back in the Vale Sports system. And we are also available online at skealimited.com. And it's really fun. I mean, it's a great brand, and it works, and it lasts forever. I mean, we saw a friend in the lift line who yes. had her daughter's jacket from 10 years ago on. And she Amazing. looked great. She I looked mean, great. You look great. It's fashion. It's function. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Diane. You're so I mean, welcome. It's the pink fur for me. Oh, so it's all about the fur. Isn't it that out. fun? It's amazing. <laughs> so that is Skea with Diane Boyer. Look your best with fashions from the outlets at Silverthorne. Mountains of brands to suit your style with savings up to 70% off every day. Don't forget to pick up a VIP savings card from the Colorado Welcome Center for even more discounts. Become an Elite Rewards member and earn amazing gifts. Outlets at Silverthorne, located 30 minutes east of Vail, exit 205 on I-70. This is the planning effect. This is how it feels to know you have a wealth plan that covers everything that's important to you. This is what it's like to have a dedicated fidelity advisor looking at your full financial picture, making sure you have the right balance of risk and reward, and helping you plan for future generations. This is the planning effect from Fidelity. In the extraordinary, we're free to discover more together. All past prices reduce 20%. Prices go up November 21st, so purchase yours now.
This weather and mountain report is brought to you by the outlets at Silverthorne. Elevated savings. All right, the clouds are a welcome sight after weeks, it seems, like sunshine. And that's great, and we have all enjoyed our extra bike rides and extra hikes out there. But, hey, it's time to get down to business and get some snow. So we did get some new snow in the last 24 hours. We'll get to that in the mountain report. But right now, 25 degrees is what we're feeling outside. Actually, the real feel, kind of more like 19. We'll stick with those overcast skies uh, throughout the morning, and then it'll make way for a little bit of sunshine this afternoon and cloud cover as well. A high today, only 37 compared to the 50s that we saw over the weekend. And an overnight low of 18, and that's good news for snowmaking because we want to make sure that we're able to keep that temperature low enough so they can crank out the snowmaking. Uh, this is a live look uh, right around the Westville exit. Traffic is actually moving pretty smoothly right now on I-70. Um, the side roads and side streets are a little bit icy, especially at the intersections, the roundabouts. So a Allow a little extra time today since we haven't seen snow in a while. We haven't had snow on the roads, anything snow packed, but that will start to melt as our temperature gets uh, closer to 32 degrees. Now for Wednesday, a um, little bit higher temperature, just around the 40s, and then for Thursday, we'll see that chance of snow start to come back. And according to opensnow.com, the forecast summary for Thursday, the 9th, about two inches, and then Friday. They're calling for maybe eight inches of snow. This is Joel Gratz and the crew over at opensnow.com. So that's kind of the prediction as of right now for this storm that's coming later on today. Now up on the mountains, what did we get? We got four inches new at Vail in the last 24 hours and two inches new at Beaver Creek. We'll take inch by inch anything we can get right now and then hopefully we'll have that bigger snow storm later on this week. Terrain-wise, we're seeing pretty much the same terrain that we've had for the last couple of weeks at Vail. Uh, they did open up a Avanti, you know, two weekends ago, which is great because it helps connect Lion's Head with Midvale. Uh, there's not a lot of terrain open around Tier 2. Basically, Avanti Express will take you to Meadows or Midvale Express, bringing you to Midvale, and from there you can uh, ski all the way to the, down to the bottom. So once again, two inches new at Beaver Creek and four inches new over at Vale. But let's bring it back up to Beaver Creek. Ken Hovey is standing by. He got up there bright and early this morning, and he's got one of our guests. So, oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I want to get more. I want to go shopping. Let's do this. <laughs> so, I, and I'm going to bring Sally up to me. There's Trisha in the corner. She Hi, Trisha. Hi. Sally, Sally, Trisha generally sits at moments like this and drools over like things that she wants to come shopping for. So we are going to share it with her and our viewers. Good to see you this morning. Tell us about your shop. So we are a boutique for the entire family right here in the Beaver Creek Village. We have everything from hats to stickers to stationery to apparel and everything for kids, men, women, everything. Everything. So, yeah. Everything, Trisha. I can't hear. This is like the store of Trisha from the most awesome hats, which we don't have time to show everything, but I have some of my favorites that we'll do in a moment. But um, to small items to like, you know, gifts that show that you care when you come back from Colorado all the way up to some beautiful jewelry. Who does all the purchasing for this? I do. You do? I'm kind of a one-man show around here. I know. Oh, my God. Even this, I'm looking behind you. Sendy sauce. Yeah, we have all kinds of local products. It's a great place to come if you want to support local. Everything from Cindy sauce to Ski Town All-Stars to Algorithm Clothing. And I'm going to have you step over artists. this way just yeah. a little bit so you also can look behind. Uh, candle. There's so many little gifts. And also, as you, you know, you can come back. That's fine. Yeah. I don't want to drag you out. You're fine. Sweatshirts. I, I wanted to share that, like, it's a spot to come in to get stocking stuff for Bigger items, bigger location. All right, so Jen, is what is the gift this year? What do you have that you know, people come in and they're really it's, looking for? It's always the stick of butter ornament. What is that? It's an ornament that looks like a stick of butter. <laughs> I know, okay. it's really bizarre. I no idea. <laughs> I found some of my favorites, uh, but I also Just, love the fact you have uh, men's items yes, and women's do. items throughout. We do. It is really important to know that we have things for the entire family. Men can come in here and find a gift for themselves, for their significant other, for their children. Um, people who are here on vacation love to come and find something that's either Colorado made or reminds them of their trip to the mountains and take it home. We also ship um, nationwide and we have a website where we sell everything here so lots of visitors like to yes. come back online and shop. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, if people are having difficulty traveling this time of year, we have so many viewers 
literally around the world and also locally, uh, some people can't get out. Or even on a day like this, they need to shop. What is the website? Um, it is SiempreVivaClothing.com. I'm going to share with them. Yeah. Bear with me, Trisha. Trisha Swenson, here's the moment. You can come on over a little closer for our framing. Um, I have you, Trisha. Let's start it off. Where are you? Pop her up there, Rachel. You don't have coming her. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Okay. There, there she is. There oh. she is. She was her tea. Well, I mean, have you been more, Trisha? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, but but I've not seen the stick of butter um, ornament. Uh, they're going crazy oh, yeah. in the back. Oh, Meredith yeah. wants to get it. I'll have to come see Christmas. Christmas okay. ornaments are here. We have hundreds of styles, Christmas gifts, all the things. You really do. I mean, it is. it just goes on and on, and it is so neat. And I love the fact that there's all different items here, Tricia, whether you're on a very tight budget or you can spend whatever, you know, come on up here and pick it out. I picked some things out that are awesome. Number one. I have to start off with our Beaver Creek, Colorado hat with the Yeti on there. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's awesome. And you know what? If you're looking for a stocking supper for the skier or rider, right? This is an Cheers. equal opportunity Socks. mountain lover, right? No, it doesn't yeah. matter. Patricia, I know about your shoe closet. I've never seen it. Look <laughs> yeah. at these. Did they have heels? Trisha. Did they have heels? Uh, little yeah. heel in there, Trisha Sweat. Look, look at her. Yes. She can't wait. What are your hours? Uh, we're open every single day from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the village. We're right next to the skating rink, so you can't miss us. What size are you, Trisha? <laughs> I'm about six. Just, this, just, this I'll just give hers. my credit card. <laughs> we'll just take my hand. <laughs> These might be yours. Back Can... to you. I'm going to be headed out. Great to see you this morning, Thanks. Sally. Stop by and see them. They're right here next to the ice skating rink. i got to scramble. We're going to head up uh, Mountainside and talk to Beaver Creek about the new snow. So stay with us. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Sally. That was so cool to get just a small tour of the store. And, um, yeah, stop by. They're going to have something for everyone on your holiday shopping list. You can shop local. Sally's been up there for a long time. And, and they do some great purchasing. They, they know what you're looking for, even that stick of butter ornament. So go find that. Okay. All right. So that was just a quick look at um, – Beaver Creek. Are we going to stick with Beaver Creek events? All right. You know what? Beaver Creek is a lot of great events that happen even on a daily basis. Their ice rink is now open daily from noon until 9 p.m. So that's really fun to check out. And then on Tuesday, today, we have complimentary caricatures with Ken Carpenter. He has been doing caricatures for decades. In fact, I think he's seen little kids grow up and bring their own kids back to this. I think we need to get a Veil Daily Live caricature. I think it'd be so fun. But um, he's going to be in the village from 4 to 6 p.m. So after skiing, go down, find him, and he'll be doing these for free. So it's super nice. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have some live music with Helmet Fricker from 3 to 5, which is super fun. And then um, in addition to the ice skating, we have the new ski bikes. So this is really cool. They basically have propped kind of like a little beach cruiser onto a platform. So it's it's low. You won't tip over. And then the platform has blades on it. Your tires kind of propel you. The front tire has like a blade as so you can steer it. You don't get going too fast. You, you won't get scared. But it is a really cool thing to do. So inquire about the uh, the ice bikes and, and lessons and all sorts of things. And then right below the ice rink, we have the Valar Performing Arts Center. And normally we bring in the, the big names, all these acts from around the world. But I, what I love that the Valar Center does is they also allow local groups to perform there. And we've got uh, the Nutcracker. Uh, and that'll be the Nutcracker Ballet presented by the Vale Friends of Dance. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can get your tickets, and it's so get cute. These kids have been working so hard, and they've got the costumes. They've got the, the story, everything that you know about Nut Nutcracker. They're going to be bringing to the stage. might be kind of fun to bring uh, some of the little kids to this that maybe aren't old enough to be in the dance groups and um, just get them inspired to get out there. But uh, the groups have been working so hard to put this together. So you can get your tickets for this. You can see it in this beautiful 535 seat theater. They've got it all decorated for the holidays. So make sure you check out that this weekend. So Nutcracker is gonna be happening. And then um, to go on to a few other things that are happening, uh, Powabunga is returning. Now we didn't have it last year. 
but it was very popular before that. So now a lot of the shows have sold out, but some of the after parties are still going to be going on. I love this poster. This is so cool. The gondola moving and everything. So it's going to be Thursday through Sunday, and you can still check out some of the after party and the fringe events. And who knows? You just show up at the venue. Maybe you can scalp a ticket. You know, there's always someone kind of selling something. So if you want to try some of these shows. But here's who's going to be coming coming to town so it's big names coming to town as well so check it out fr thursday night friday saturday all the way through sunday with their bottomless bottomless bunga brunch <laughs> details coming so check out their website for more details on this big event that is returning with live music to the mountains of Vale, and they love the fact that they can kind of blend that whole going out on the slopes thing and then you just come back i mean your legs are gonna be tired from dancing and riding for sure but it's a great weekend to be in the Vale valley so check out Powabunga coming to the Vale area this weekend but uh, right now Hey, you're going to need a good night's sleep after all those activities. And if the altitude gets you, it, it is difficult to sleep up here. But here's a solution. We're going to let you know more about altitude control technologies. A good night's sleep is important, but it's a little more difficult up at altitude in our beautiful Rocky Mountain towns. Here to tell us more about it, we have Gary Hansen, and he's with Altitude Control Technologies. You guys are actually based out of uh, Edwards, Colorado, we but we're at a beautiful home in Breckenridge learning about this technology. So let us know how we can get a better night's sleep with Altitude Control Technology. Sure. First, I'll tell you what we do is called altitude simulation, which basically is adding oxygen to bedrooms to bring the altitude down so that you don't suffer from altitude sickness symptoms. Yeah. We've been in business for over 20 years. We do work with Harvard Medical School, the Mayo Clinic, the United States Air Force Academy, the Navy. Olympic centers Olympic around centers the world. Olympic centers all around the world, professional athletic teams. Um, and so we've, we've been doing systems in the mountains for about uh, eight years or so. Okay. We have hundreds of them. Oh, yeah. You know what? You think about Vail at, what, 8,100 feet, Breckenridge, 9,600. You know, some of these homes that are up on the mountains, up in Bachelor Gulch or Cordillera. Sure. You know, I can imagine this, the word is getting out about this, and, and people are wanting to have this technology in their home. How do we do it in the home? Like, what, what, what goes on? So what we do is we put our system somewhere other than the bedrooms. We only oxygenate bedrooms because mm -hmm. that's when you need it the most yeah. when you're sleeping. And we put our system somewhere other than the bedroom, like a garage or a crawl space. And then we pipe the oxygen to the bedrooms. We don't want you to hear or see anything in these bedrooms, and hopefully we'll show you that. Um, and so the system takes air in from outside, splits up the oxygen and the nitrogen. We send the nitrogen back out of the house and the oxygen to the bedrooms. Okay. And we increase the oxygen levels by about 30% to simulate an altitude that's close to sea level. Okay, and then we just have something like a little panel where yeah. we can watch what's going on. We do, it's we have a controller, and we're really the only company that has a controller with dual sensors, and the sensors monitor the oxygen saturation, the barometric pressure, and the CO2 in the room constantly because you don't want to get too much oxygen no. in a room or you violate the National Fire Protection Code, but you want to make sure you're getting enough to actually get a physiological benefit from it. Okay. What's the response been? It's been very good. Um, we have uh, references from all around the world. We actually have systems in South America, China, wow. Europe, but most of the ski towns and high mountain towns in the West, uh, we have systems in all of them, and we have uh, people that tell us all the time, I'm only stay able to stay here because yeah. of your system. Yeah, definitely. And uh, getting that good night's sleep, feeling good, attacking the mountain, going skiing or hiking yep. or biking the exactly. next day yeah. is very important. Okay, yeah. if we want to learn more, what's the best source? Do you guys have a website for us? We do. It's www.act. o2.com. Okay, if you want to learn more, give them a call. <laughs>
even more now than maybe before. The fresh air, good for your head, it's good for your heart, uh, it's good for you physically, and it'll make you smile. And go rip some pow. Let's go. I'll need you follow. There's nowhere we can wander. I know you hear it call to It's not chestnuts roasting that bring the family together. It's you. And even though you can't make them exactly like grandma's, you can still make it a night to remember. Save on a Samsung laundry pair from the Home Depot. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Carrots Jewelers, creating heirlooms for over 50 years. All right, we are back and want to let you know what's going on with the weather. We did get some new snow in the last 24 hours. So that came in kind of late yesterday uh, into the evening, about 6 p.m. is when we started seeing it snow in Edwards. And uh, here's a look outside. You can see that cloud cover. That's going to stick with us for most of the day. It'll break up a little bit this afternoon, but most of that snow has moved on through. So it'll just be overcast for today. Right now we have 25 degrees. We'll reach into the upper 30s, uh, which is uh, a little different than the 50s we've had the last couple of days and then the overnight low down to 18 degrees which is good news we want it to be low enough to of course keep on making that snow with all the snow making machines at Vail and Beaver Creek for the next couple of days here's what we can expect so for your Wednesday just some cloud cover 40 for your high Thursday the chance of precipitation starts to roll in according to opensnow.com maybe about two inches Thursday and then Friday into Saturday is when we could see more snow. So all told, maybe six to eight to eight to 10 inches throughout these next couple of days. So towards the end of the week is the next time we'll see a big chance of precipitation. So do the snow dance, wash the car, do what you can to get ready for it. And then on Saturday morning, we'll have um, sunshine again for the weekend, but cooler temperatures only in the 20s, uh, which is okay. We'll, we'll take the cool temperatures. It is December. And that's a look at the weather. Mountains have received new snow. Vail received four inches of new snow in the last 24 hours, and Beaver Creek received two inches in the last 24 hours. So anything can help us at this moment moment but terrain wise we're pretty much at the same where we have a uh, gondola six opened up the chair gondola combination centennial over at beaver creek and we have uh the uh ex ex the Haymet express open for you for beginners at beaver creek and then over at vale we have Vale village that gets you up to midvale to chair four and then avanti will get you over back down to midvale express and meadows top to bottom skiing from midvale and chair four all the way down to the village and then over at lion's head we have gandhi number 19 open for you that takes you up to some beginner terrain Rain. Now you do need to take the gondola down at the end of the day, so just keep that in mind until we're able to get more information available or more uh, terrain open for you. Hey, but big news for the Vail Daily Live show. We have been on, of course, Facebook and YouTube and VailDaily.com and VailDailyLive.com, but we are going to be um, going on outside television mo any day now. So this is Outside TV, Channel 17 on Comcast in the Vail Valley. So you can watch us another way. You can be making your coffee, have us up on the big screen, and so instead of your laptop or your phone, that'll be another way to watch us in the hotels and everything. So we're super excited about that. And outside television, been around for a long time. It was RSN Resort Sports Network before that. So they know the outdoors. And uh, let's just give you a little sample of what outside TV is all about and the type of programming they show. We all seek to experience adventure, inspiration, beauty, and joy. We search for stories of those who have that undeterred spirit to drive on, get up, affect change, and inspire us. We long for the places that are familiar, but are curious about the unknown. Live the adventurous life. Welcome to the world of outside television.
In Search of Speed gives us an all-access view of the United States ski team as they train and compete to be the fastest in the world. When everybody's on the same page, that's when you start to gain a lot of momentum as a team. And that's what we're building towards. Normally we get up, have a good breakfast, get a good warm-up in, spin some type of cardio, get the blood moving, get the muscles firing. And then, yeah, then we get ready and then we're out here ready to roll. If I'm going to do this sport, I want to be the best I can be. And I think I can be really good. The in-depth interview series, Outlook, hosted by Pat Parnell, looks at the lives of athletes, musicians, and leaders in the outside world. I knew the footage was way out there. I've never been skied before and never would be skied again. You learn more from your failures than you do from your successes. There's been times when I've just jumped on my bike. It changed my life. The Unreal World, this series breaks free from reality and reveals how the groundbreaking mountain bike film Unreal from TGR and Ant Hill Films came to fruition. It's probably the most challenging film that we've ever done. It nails the impossible timing. I have been you dreaming of that shot for five years. Professional big mountain skier Chris Davenport hosts Dispatches, a series that offers new stories of triumph, drive, and those who have a willingness to positively impact the world around us. We used to go out to the sea, and we used to gather on a shellfish. I knew then he had salt water in his veins. That's where his strength come from. I just remember thinking, man, I just don't want to be here. But then what do you do? You just keep going. This guy was born to be adventurous. He was born to do fun stuff, crazy stuff. The vulnerability that he experienced on that journey is hard to match. Liftoff is an adventure reality series following Yaki Summer, one of the world's best wingsuit pilots, and Niccolo Percella, a world-class big wave surfer, as they attempt to switch sports. I'm going to work the hardest I possibly can in this time to make it possible that I get at least one shot of riding a wave at that size. In that moment, you're putting all your concentration into what you're doing. The series Maverick Moments brings you into the world of big wave surfing, following some of the best in the sport as they travel the globe in search of the biggest waves known to man. You don't have passion. What is life? You gotta have something that makes you feel alive inside. Join professional athlete Cam McCall on the series Locals as he discovers the reasons why top athletes call certain towns home. Now you are officially indoctrinated into the Rock Island culture here. Yes! Pretty much like a local. That's the goal of the entire trip. Outside television tells human stories of inspiration, adventure, exploration, and joy. There is so much to experience on outside television. All right, we're so excited to be a part of this uh, wonderful network. So Outside TV is Channel 17 here in the Vail Valley and the Vail Daily Live. Pretty soon, any day now, we're going to be broadcasting from there as well. So plenty of ways to watch us. And, of course, if you can't watch us live between 7.30 and about 8.30, you can always watch us on demand on Roku, on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and we're also a podcast on Spotify. So if you're out walking the dog or maybe going up, uh, doing some skiing or riding and want to listen, you can find out what's going on any time of the day. But uh, I think Ken Ovi is standing by up at Beaver Creek. He's going to find out what's happening uh, with Rachel, and let's take it out to them. We're talking. Trisha, Rachel and I are talking business. She caught us right in the middle of it. We couldn't hear you. No worries. No worries. Hey, how are you guys? Good to see you, Rachel. Good morning. That was fun. That what was a fun weekend. Think? That was a fun weekend yeah. at the races. Super fun weekend at the races. Huge shout out to our talent crew. Race Patrol, our snowmakers, our groomers, our lift departments that put on an incredible event. I know I saw you out there. It was wonderful. My first World Cup, and I already can't wait for next year. I know. I love it. it. My favorite event. Well, Tricia, we'll get to it with Rachel, and uh, I agree. How awesome. I saw Ron, who is the, the chief of the course, and what went into it. They made winter time up there and they made it world class, it was perfect. Absolutely, we got so much feedback from the racers that it was the perfect surface that they were looking for, definitely fast, and you yes. know, that's what they run on. So we had a great time, amazing races, congratulations to all that competed. Um, and now we're turning our attention to this winter wonderland behind me. So glad to see the snow guns firing, 
It is. Yeah. It is. The, snot, the snow guns and the snow gods yes. have all come through. And I've been enjoying the more summer-like weather. But let's face it, it is time to start thinking about winter. Christmas is right around the corner. We have a lot of guests that are going to be coming to Beaver Creek. And I like to see that Beaver Creek's kind of getting back to normal. Skiers and riders going up. Um, you know, we're getting that new snow. And then also, is, to my understanding, chocolate chip cookies came back. Cookies are back. Oh, my goodness. I have had too many already. Life is good again. I'm trying to break the season <laughs> record of how many have been eaten. Uh, yeah. How many have you had? I want to know. Oh, man. Chip. Average about two a day. And we've been open for eight days. So, yeah. you know, you're, probably you're, over under 20. Yeah, you're over a dozen by now. <laughs> but I, I don't blame you. I'm just, I'm jealous of that. But it is so good to come to Beaver Creek. Uh, I was telling Rachel before the program started, my first job. I worked the top of Centennial chairlift uh, for Steve Johnson like 30 years ago. And Amazing. I, I do. I love Beaver Creek, and the reason is the like the legacy that it's created. I mean, talk about a resort that has a lot of memories. Oh my goodness, our traditions here. You know, we're just built on that family atmosphere. We're built on explore, exploring together as a family, and so excited to bring that back this year. And then also to add on with McCoy Park. That's you know. Oh yeah. Well, wait, let's talk. I'll change the subject. Shiny thing, that's what I say whenever I get distracted. What's going on with that? That's the new Park. terrain. Yeah, 250 acres of natural groomable glades for our beginner and intermediate skiers and snowboarders. We're hoping to open it pretty soon. It depends on snowfall. Mother Nature's helping out right now, so we'll just keep this going and, and see when it opens. It really is built for the family to explore together. We've got a chair back there called Reunion Lift, and it truly is that feeling we want you to have explore nature together enjoy it and have a great time as a family can i give you my phone number and you just give me like an hour heads up as to when it's going to open I can, I, I can see what i can do for so many years so many of us have sat up there on mammy's deck yeah looking at that going boy that'd be a great place to make some turns i mean Absolutely. it's so scenic so beautiful and what a great place and a lot of you know already like natural runs that were already yes, there yes truly so natural it really feels like you're out in this secluded environment and one of my favorite parts about mccoy park is the new view that we're showcasing to our guests you'll be able to see the solid range out there from our new warming hut which is spectacular and so many people have never seen it from this angle before we're really excited to show that off i i love beaver creek yes without a doubt my whole thing with beaver creek heated sidewalks oh escalators that take you up to the lifts, and now the return to chocolate chip cookies each and every afternoon. What time is the cookie? Oh, cookie handout? time is three o'clock in the base area. We're gonna be sending out of uh, Chip's cookie truck, which is down sort of by Powdery, and then we'll also have our fast cookies that you know and love. So lots to experience here at Beaver Creek. Please come see us, and you know, there is so much excitement Oh, it's so good. It's, it's so good. In earnest. I, I, you know, I'm just going to let you know that even before the mountain opened today, I saw Trisha's husband, and then one of the, the higher ups, I'll say, at Vail Resorts, <laughs> they had started skinning up the mountain before 5 a.m. They were that excited about the fresh snow. Absolutely. I'm excited about the fresh snow, too. One thing with uphill travel, you do want to check the uphill travel hotline before you go just to make sure you're being safe. So you can find that number at beavercreek.com backslash mountain safety. Um, and you are good. I, you are the best. I'm trying, but yes, we do want <laughs> everyone true. to experience uphill travel in a safe way. You know, we've got a lot going on on our mountain in the off times as well. So I'm gonna just get, make sure you're doing safe. I'm going to get in trouble now for, for mentioning it. Not at I'm not all. sure what the rules were, but I appreciate that. All so good. Uh, lifts open at 9 o'clock. Two new inches. Is that the official report? two and a half yeah two yeah. little little over two and yeah. honestly some light snow fell after the report this morning uh, if you are coming up we mentioned the uh, iciest roads Trisha before we send it back to you just wanted to ask uh, what's the next big event Ooh, that we should plan on? next big event that's a great question just getting through birds of prey so we are probably looking towards cheer from Beaver Creek extraordinaire which is a holiday event lots of fun lots of um, holiday excitement and then we've got a huge New Year's celebration coming up so really looking forward to all of that holiday atmosphere and finally the snow is falling and we're so excited to yeah, welcome you it's good it's so good well great to see you Rachel Trisha before we wrap it up Look, see the big smile comes in. What do you have, Tricia? I know. Hey, you know what's going on this afternoon? We've got uh, Ken Carpenter doing the caricatures. Ken, have you ever had a caricature done of yourself? I, I would hate to. I, oh no, <laughs> no, that would be really awkward. Should we okay. Do it together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look great, Mike. 
I am, I'm, a, I'm a walking caricature. <laughs> So head down there. They're going to do it down on the plaza between uh, 4 and 6 today. But that, that's super fun. And then Helmut Fricker, he's playing tomorrow afternoon. He's got his show from 3 to 5. He's a Beaver Creek classic as he's well. So, hey, yeah. hey, hey, Trisha, Trisha, real quick, I just wanted to say, having Helmut up here, right? Oh, my goodness. Where, where, do, where do you usually find him? What's the locale? Oh, my gosh. Helmut's everywhere. <laughs> he's just, you walk around the village, and here he is. I would say most likely you're going to find him around the ice rink. Okay. But... Another another part of Beaver Creek, our traditions, you know? Helmet is a big part of Beaver Creek's tradition and we're so excited. He's back for the season, so. If you, and, and Trisha, my advice to people, if they're looking for Helmet, they're, where is this Helmet Fricker? Stop, almost like you're hunting, and just listen, and you'll hear a yodel, or an accordion, or an alpen horn, or people laughing hysterically, and then that's how you yes. find Helmet. <laughs> yes, they're laughing at his jokes. That's what's going on, yes. okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank Thanks, you very Rachel. much, Rachel. Thank you, Ken. Okay, we're gonna take it to a quick break and come back with just a bit more of VDL. We're for the fashion forward and budget-minded. We've got the brands that set you apart, the style to make you stand out, the looks that let you shine. We are for the dreamers, the doers, and the savers. Outlets at Silverthorne, elevate your savings. Save up to 70% on the best designer brands. Visit outlets at silverthorne.com for current sales and events. We love our new home. Lots of windows, great light. But the birds. They're back. Yes, I hear them. Uh oh. Why are these birds so angry? At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! Hurry, hurry. I know, I know, For I know. bundling made easy, go to geico.com. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Betteridge. Find jewelry and watches with exceptional service since 1897, located in Solaris. All right, I want to give you one more look at the weather before we take off with the show today. But um, we're going to see the cloud cover continue, but a lot of the snow has stopped. So that storm, kind of a quick-moving storm rolling through here. Our temperatures for right now kind of in the mid-20s, and we'll see them increase to the upper 30s by the end of the day with a little sunshine popping out as well. Roads just a little slick this morning, and we're not used to it. We haven't had snow in a while. So allow some extra time to get from point A to point B. Allow extra distance between you and the vehicle in front of you and uh, that's going to help keep you safe out there and make sure you've got good tires on i'm getting my tires on today <laughs> as we speak so no time like the present but um here's what we're going to see and like the overnight low we'll be dropping down into the teens tonight which is good we want overnight lows to be cool chilly so we can make a lot of that snow and wind speed not too bad today about nine miles per hour out of the west southwest and then for the next couple of days we'll see cloud cover for your Wednesday and then towards the end of the week Thursday into Friday is when our next storm system could come through and according to opensnow.com Thursday could possibly bring us two inches of snow Friday into Saturday could produce eight inches of snow and then maybe one more inch on Saturday so that's what they're predicting right now from open snow with their forecast summary you know you never know weather is hard to predict especially this year so uh, but we'll take it hopefully do that snow dance and we'll be good to go and then by Saturday we'll have a pretty nice day uh, but cooler temperatures highs only in the 20s but that is very seasonal for right now <laughs> so that's a look at your weather real quick let's bring in Ken Olvey if we can for our Hi, Trisha. We're good? I think so. Perfect. Hi, I was just uh, good, good, great to see a uh, fun program today. Um, while I'm sitting here comfortably by the fire, trying not to melt my jacket off, I sent uh, Meredith a message. We never got to talk about kayaking or whitewater today. Do, do we oh, have no. 50 seconds to share for our whitewater well, enthusiasts? Hey, first, first of all, let's talk a little bit about terrain because we got to do the mountain report. Okay. So tell us what you know about the terrain and, and uh, our snow well, totals. You know, with, with the terrain, as Rachel said, they are trying to increase terrain right now. It's just a couple runs that are open up there, limited terrain. Um, when you see people headed over toward Red Tail in that area, they're going over there for the ski races, the junior ski races. 
As far as snow for Vale, or excuse me, snow for Beaver Creek, two inches was officially reported, but they probably picked up about another half inch since then. Uh, and then over at Vale, the official report was four inches. And last I checked on Vale, they had something like six lifts that were open and 25 runs it was within that vicinity yeah. now those aren't all full top to bottom runs obviously some of those are portions of runs but we're starting to increase more terrain which is great mother nature is definitely helping out with that new snow but the other thing that goes along with good snow on the mountains uh, tough snow conditions on the road so be careful out there yeah definitely okay well i, I see i think is that first chair fred uh, kind of dancing with his orange yeah. jacket yeah <laughs> He's, he's keeping awesome. warm. <laughs> yeah, he's just out. I mean, first chair Fred has been here. I, I'm going to say he's been here like an hour. He comes here like an hour early every day and just hangs out. Yeah. And does like 33 laps before <laughs> noon and goes to work. Um, yeah. I feel really lazy around that guy. I know. Well, he said he's already got 33 days in between going over to Keystone and Summit County Resorts and then when Vail opened and Beaver Creek. And, and he was first chair. He, he's on the photograph. He's on the video. He's coming through with his orange jacket. So, yeah, first chair surprised. Fred. <laughs> okay. I'm not right. surprised. Yeah. Uh, but it is, it's awesome to be up here. Trisha, this is the first time this year. I know I went to the ski races and reported from there, but this is my first live report for the winter season at Beaver Creek at the Bay. And it gets me excited. I've got my snowboard in my car right now that I'm going to take down to Christie's, get them to put the tune on it. i uh, got to go get my pass and going to get ready to get up on yeah. the hill because Christmas is right around the corner and Fred already has 1.3 million vertical feet. <laughs> So I, I have a lot of work to do. Totally, totally do. All right, yeah. And you know what? Wasn't it exciting to hear about McCoy Park? I think that's going to be such a great addition to Beaver Creek. And, you know, Ken, we were talking about memories and all of my nieces and nephews who are now anywhere from about 12 to 25 years old. They, they all learned on Beaver Creek. They were in ski school. You know, they, they were using the edgy wedgie. They advanced to the upper greens and then finally got to do top to bottom. I know your kids learned there too. It's, it's really they cool. Did. They did. I, I really do. I'm not just saying that to Rachel. I love both mountains. I work on Vail Mountain and I come over and I work pretty frequently uh, with Beaver Creek. And it's no secret that I've been a Vail Resorts employee for I think I'm at like 27, maybe 29 years, depending wow. on who you ask. I, I truly love Beaver Creek. And, uh, you know, you think back to when they even connected Beaver Creek to Arrowhead years ago through Bachelor Gulch and what an improvement that is. And I know without a doubt that as much as we all love that new area that they put in at McCoy, there's the haters out there like, oh, man, you know, you got to expand. I love it. I'll put it yeah. right out there. Good job, Vail Resorts. That's a nice little nook to put a lift in. I know my property values went in up when they dropped that lift and made improvements here. So it's great. They're always yeah. trying to improve. Um, it's just, it's you know, a winter wonderland. And yes, my kids learned to ski and ride here. So I love it. And it all started right there, Trisha Swenson. Yeah. Working the top of Centennial. Working the top of Centennial. 20, 20, 20 year old kid coming out of Florida working here. So, oh my gosh. Um, do we have time for kayaking? Okay. Do we have time, Meredith? Real? Okay, yeah. All right. So, set it? us up. Set All right, us let's up. do it. And, and to, we'll just talk through it. It's fine, Trey. There's no real okay, music yeah. to it. Okay. We can bring oh, it up. Wow. I'm just sharing this with our uh, paddling friends out there. Shoshone is running. It is cold, obviously. There's not a whole lot of snow along the banks. I uh, was able wow. to go paddle it with Derek Dreyer. Uh, a lot of people know him, uh, Eagle resident. But the rapids did change just a little bit through this section. We had those big mudslides that occurred over the course of the summer. They got those cleaned up, but some of that debris went into the river. And it's really interesting that at the top, right at the put-in, it's almost like a, a lake there. And you don't get to the first rapid until about 200 yards down. But other than that, everything was good to go. And as far as access, that had been a big issue over the summertime was getting there because they were still cleaning up rocks and they had their priorities and the, there was closures. Everything is good to go right now. You can drive to the put-in and the takeout, no issues at all. If you want to go raft or kayak or stand-up paddleboard, uh, that's a great place. And looking at that video made me cold, so I'm grateful to be sitting here next to the fire <laughs> at Beaver Creek. 
drinking some hot coffee. Good yeah. to see you today, Tricia. Yeah, and you know what? Hey, speaking of Glenwood Canyon, um, they uh, CDOT has mentioned that they're going to be doing some uh, rock wall mitigation. There, there's some rocks that they need to remove from the netting. So between 10 and 3 today, especially if you're going westbound, expect 20 to 30 minute delays and then eastbound will be closed intermittently as needed but you know some people might be going to target to do some shopping yes you know yes uh, getting getting the garland some, maybe get that artificial some tree people, <laughs> my, my wife was there two days ago and my son is getting his license and it was his first time with parental supervision obviously driving through the canyon and he was all gung-ho he did the drive down there and then he had my wife his mama do the drive home because oh yeah there's a lot going on and thank you to CDOT by the way they're yeah. working hard this morning to get the roads cleaned up they are not a whole lot of snow but it's slippery and then you know the work they've been doing down in the canyon has been monumental to say the least yeah. and it still goes on okay perfect well i've heard of no road closures um as of yet you can always sign up for ec alerts eagle county alerts and then don't forget again it's colorado gives day so if you're gonna give any day of the year 364 other days, no, 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 give on this day because the money is going to go further because they have um, enhanced matching. It's not dollar to dollar, but it is enhanced. So Eagle County, eaglecogives.org um, would be a great start, coloradogivesday.org. But give where you live because uh, it just, it means a lot. So, yeah. So, Ken, if you haven't done that, uh, you can do that online as yes, well. Yes, do it right on there. Yeah. I, I told you earlier. I'm a Roundup River Ranch is my choice. Trisha, I got to get out of here because I still have to pay for parking. Oh, I know. And, you know, that, that yeah. three-hour cutoff, you know, I'm going to yeah. get hit for the next round. So good to see you this morning. Totally. But it's time for me to go. And I'll be back on Thursday. Who knows where? We'll try to do something fun together. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks for the reports, reports this morning. Once again, two inches new at Beaver Creek in the last 24 hours. That was a report that was taken pretty early this morning, about 530 this morning, and then four inches new at Vail. But join us tomorrow. We'll be back live starting out at 730.